and he's got am I carrying a sledgehammer? I mean, I guess so. Because I believe that Frankie and I both said that we would carry our own thing. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I took mine. No, that's fine. I'm not saying you didn't. I'm just saying. No, I was agreeing. Would that net still be around the side by side? You are about are we 45 side minutes side away side? from the side by side. Oh, right. A walk. Yeah. yeah. If Even if it was, I wouldn't have thought to bring it. Till now. Just one sec. You guys hold this guy off. I'll be back in an hour and a half. <laughs> uh, okay. What are you guys doing? I need, um, I need you to tell me quick. There's there's a man the charging at you. Uh, you see the altar uh, is tucked in under like a tarp um, with like w tightly tucked into the corner. Okay, so we've got something right charging us. Right now or no? What would you and say, he's, sorry? He's on all fours. <clears throat> no, Frankie. Uh, would I be able to reach it like where it is right now or would I have to move some stuff out of the way? No, you can reach it right now. That's how he reached it. Would I be able to reach it to smack it with the hammer? Uh, uh not so much. Um. It's, it's under wood is the thing. You can see the bottom of it. Okay. Um. Okay, they made a noise. They went that way. Uh, I'm gonna start okay. swinging at the wood to get it out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna distract Elias while she's while they're doing that. Um, I'm gonna say Elias. Like I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring okay, my sledgehammer so up. Like you're, over you're by trying my to shoulder. like keep him away from Maxine. Frank. No, from Frankie, because Frankie's he's, gonna try and do the wood. He's not distracted by Frankie. He's charging you two. Well, I'm going to keep him charging us. I'm going to yell at Elias to see if he comes to his senses, because according to the journal, if he's just changed, he's still Elias. Mostly. So. Alright, so roll to protect someone. I'm try and get his attention. And Frankie's, or sorry, uh, Maxine's got her sledgehammer. I've got my sledgehammer because it's like, roll I don't to want to, I don't someone. want to kill him, I just want to hit. I got the, I heard you, just give me a sec. What do you have for that? I got good stuff. Yeah! Just like 11. Uh, 11? Yep. Um, so you get to pick an extra. You suffer little harm, minus one harm. All impending danger is now focused on you. You inflict harm on the enemy, or you hold the enemy back. All impending danger is focused on me. Oh, cool. Uh, so he is running at you on all fours and jumps, like, as he's charging, he jumps off the ground and launches himself at you. You already have weight on your back, so as soon as he does this, he pushes you to the ground and is on top of you. And you start feeling the icy grip of his hands uh, start penetrating through your uh, outfit, I guess. And you start feeling like the your skin starting to freeze. As he's yes, like, that's really cold. Breathing that's really like cold, Elias. Right, up, right up against your face. And you can feel like the air is like freezing. That's really cold. Okay, can I like smack at his leg or something? Or it's like, I don't want to kill him. I just want to knock him off. That's still going to be a kick some ass roll. Sure. Right here. Not sure. It is. No, I'm saying sure. I'm very excited about it. As in, okay. What goes with it? Tough. No plus one. I've got nine. nine. All right. That is a mixed success, which means you inflict harm on whatever you're fighting and it harms you. Uh, so what are you using to attack it? Sledge the sledgehammer. Uh, Frankie, what 
the other option for your axe was sledgehammer, correct? I believe so. Give me one second. I think it was. <laughs> Um, yes. And I think that's also two harm, is it not? Three harm, hand, messy. Okay, three harm, hand, messy. Got it. So you smack him with the sledgehammer, um, inflicting the three harm, I guess. Uh, and as you do that, he uh, jumps off of Victor and launches himself at you. Oh, Victor, you got two harm on that one, uh, which I believe is zero harm. harm for you. Um, and then, uh, Frankie, not Frankie, Maxine, jump, Maxine. does the exact same thing to you, um, and you also get your two harm from the frost that is penetrating through your jacket and onto your skin. Okay. Is that... Uh... Oops. Okay, I've got two harm, and he says, I, you've got two harm, but he says he thinks that equals zero to you for some reason. Yeah, that's a good bonus. Okay, because he so has you armor. want to mark me? Oh, you have armor. You got two, he said? Yeah. Uh-oh. Did I still have one harm? What did I have one harm from? Last time we had issues. You wouldn't have had it anymore because you would have been... You would have rested. Okay. I would have... Yeah, yeah so okay. it's just... Okay. Okay. So, uh... Maxine, you have, uh... Him on top of you. Uh... Victor, okay. you are still on the ground. But... Uh, Elias is no longer on top of you. Frankie, what are you doing? Trying to swing um, at the altar, correct? Yes. I was trying to knock enough of the wood away to where I could get a good, like, okay. arc on it. Okay. Um, so, are you doing that with your axe or the sledgehammer still? Sledgehammer. Okay. Uh, so you're just smashing down pieces. Um, we're just going to make this a tough roll. Okay, so just roll plus tough. Yeah. Oh, I hope that was fun. Because you're not, you're not doing a kick some ass roll because you're not going to get injured from this, so. Roll big, Frankie. Roll big. 11. Ooh. That is big. That's I keep, like, rolling sixes and fours. These dice are doing really well tonight. And they don't always do that. It's awesome. You're uh, getting the uh, Charlie look. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you're smashing down on this wood, clearing some of it out of the way, and after about, I don't know, 10 seconds, you uh, have a bunch of wood cleared, and you can see clearly the altar underneath. Bam! Uh, That's what we're doing next. Okay, what are you two doing? We're having, just one sec, we're having some allergy issues. So I'm going to slip my backpack, and then I'm going to try and kick uh, Elias Elias off of Maxine. Okay. Oh, what just happened? Oops. Mm. Um, I somehow opened it. What the... Would I still have, like, the sledgehammer, like, in my hand or anything? Uh, yeah, kind of. With getting knocked over. Um... Sorry, somebody just sent a message and I don't know how to delete it. This is why we need uh, Charlie. Whatever. 
Anyway, um, you're kicking him off, so you gotta roll some, uh, kick some ass. Oof. Ah, uh, six. All right. On a miss, you get your ass kicked instead. You suffer harm or get nice. captured. Um, so... Did you take your harm? I don't know how much harm he's going to cause. Uh, you... Get the feeling that this is not as strong, not as um, capable as Rachel was. Um, there's something different about this one. Um, and as you are kicking at him, he jumps at you um, and like tries to like clock you in the face just like a human would. Um, it's very cold, but it's only one harm. Okay, so did I actually take that harm or still no? No, it's still nothing. Uh, Frankie, okay. this one, you are going to roll to kick some ass. All right. If I get my ass kicked, then just... The wood pile falls on her. <laughs> Whoops, that was went way too wild. Uh nine. Nine? Uh so it's just a mixed success. Um so you do inflict a little bit of damage to this thing. Um, you take your, uh, are you using just the sledgehammer still? Yeah, you, uh, you for now, yeah. Yeah, you didn't bring, take a pickaxe, so. Um, so as you take the sledgehammer and smash it down as hard as you can onto this rock, uh, you feel an extreme, I'm trying, like a ricochet type effect where you smash it down on this rock and then the sledgehammer blasts up uh almost out of your hands. I'm not going to let I'm not going to have it go flying um because of your roll it was a 9 so it's decent. Um and it almost like takes a shoulder out of socket cool. as it goes flying up into the air as you cool. have it gripped still. Um and you look down at this rock that you just did that to, there is a little tiny little dent in it, and that's it. My table. Oh, and you also take one harm from that. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep trying to like smack this thing, I guess. Okay. Um there's also a loud noise when you did that. There was a loud, like small booming noise. I say small booming, I think that's like two separate things. Um aren't those antonyms? Um uh, That's a moron. Uh so you hear like a grunt come from Victor and Maxine's direction I don't know if you would you turn and look or no just keep on uh, focusing no I'm gonna look okay uh as you look over uh Elias's face is now directly aimed at you his eyes are locked on you with the sledgehammer up in the air above your head and he starts going in your direction. 
Um, I'm gonna try and time it to where I can, like, swing down one more time. And then I'm gonna look and, like, wait for him to come at me and I'll, like... Oh, he's already just... coming in your direction. Oh, okay. Then I'm just gonna turn and... You're gonna swing at him? Yeah. I'm gonna do, like, a side sweep. Like a baseball player. Let's go that one. Chop him out of the way a little bit. Okay. Um, so he starts charging in your direction, and as he's getting close, you swing the sledgehammer to the, like, sideways, uh, and crack him, like, in the legs, or, like, are you thinking head, or what What are you aiming for? Um. Roll to kick some ass, anyway. I'd, I'd probably aim for, like, the head or, like, shoulders, because he's still on all fours, right? Yep. He's so running thinking, very... Like, trying to, like... Running very beastily. Yeah. Um. This is gonna hurt. Cause I think it's still a mi yeah, that's an eight. That's a mixed success. So it still, is. it's not a a complete success, but it. It's even, not hurt a bit. even with a complete success, you still take a bit of harm. Um, so once again, um, he is running at you. You crack him the shoulder, kind of take him off course a little, but he comes back around and like slashes at you, like your stomach area, and you feel this cold like enter your system in around your stomach, and you take one harm from that. As you Did crack I him in the shoulder. What was that? Did I still have that one from my concussion? I can't remember if I've slept since the first night I got it or not. I mean, she, uh, Cassandra gave you Arnica. You're fine. Okay. See? Like that's, that was for frostbite, not for, our, not for a concussion. Oh. Um, so as you crack him in the shoulder, um, he gets a worried look on his face and takes off into the woods. Elias! That's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what you want me to say. Because he turns around and comes back. Turns around and comes back. What? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean... No. Come here, boy. I help Maxine up off the ground. Hey. I want to smack the thing again, see if he turns around and comes running back. Alright, roll again. Nine. Nine. Uh, as you do it again, same thing happens. There's a little, like, explosion noise. Um, and you hit it, it bounces way up into the air, you take one harm as your shoulder cracks a, li a little bit again, um, and the dent has grown maybe, like, a centimeter. No reaction from the retreating Elias? No. Oh. Weird. All right, so I assume we're up. We're heading over towards Frankie now. Hey, Victor, do you have the... Ooh. Shit, are y'all okay? Well, we had some fun. We're fine. Yeah. He's gone now. But I don't like the fact that he's on the loose. Yeah, but it, you notice uh, he's way smaller than Rachel was, and he's a lot weaker, inexperienced. It's not I the same kind of threat. I Rachel ever walking on all fours. No, he's uh, a di different different animal, I guess you could say. Yeah, but will he get strong? Yeah, it's like we got to get rid I'm of sure this thing. I'm sure it takes time. No, I know, but we got to get rid of this thing. Yeah, and we also got to find Rachel. Yeah. Well, first things first. Uh, how are you making out with this 
altar. Uh, with the sledgehammer, not great. I need a pickaxe. Okay, what else do we got in our pack here that we got from uh, Henry? Did he give us any TNT? <laughs> no. I'm thinking he probably didn't give us TNT. But he might have given us a wedge and uh, uh, what the heck is it called? I have a small, Chisel. I have a small dent. Yeah, we just need a small dent to start. Well, I've smacked this thing twice with a sledgehammer, and I mean... Here, look at this. Is Victor much bigger than us? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, he might have some more half. Okay, well, let me give it a try. And then we'll see if we can get that wedge in there. Oh, just uh, hold the grip kind of tight. It, uh, it gives a bit of a kickback. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Other than one shoulder looks a little bit lower than the other. Are you telling me or it's already popped out of socket? I took a harm. I feel like it could be Man. like almost fully dislocated. <clears throat> I don't know. That's fair. All right. Uh, roll the kick some ass then. <laughs> uh, eight. Eight? Um, yep. So, same thing. You'd like. Get it back behind your head, start to swing it down, crack it on the stone. You hear a little bit louder of an explosion noise, and the thing just blasts back. And yeah, you feel your shoulder kind of like it pops. It doesn't dislocate, but it pops as it pulls back. And you look back, and yeah, it's, it hasn't even really grown. You see like a little, little chip up the side. Okay, I'm thinking we might need something stronger. If you can't even make a dent in it. Pickaxe. I think we're going to get the same result, Frankie, from a pickaxe. It's like it's got a kinetic energy that blows you like well, back, you like you know, said. That one is flat. This is pointy. It might make a difference. Uh, Seven. You got, you got, we have a pickaxe? Yeah. You're, right? hitting, it, you're hitting it with a seven? Yes. All right, you do it this time with the pickaxe. That's what you're using. Yes. Uh, your shoulder is now dislocated. <laughs> oh, that, that looks cool. So oh, as you swing, as you swing down, uh, you it cracks into the thing. You try and aim it for the same spot, but I don't know that your aim is the greatest. Um, but you hit the rock. Uh, and then the pickaxe once again goes flying up backwards. This time it fully launches from your hand because you've lost control of that like arm completely as you dislocate your shoulder. Yep. And the pickaxe goes flying, hits a tree in the back, and sticks into the tree. Nice. Ow. I don't think that went as planned. Um, let's get your arm set back in place first. That's that fine. looks terrible. Okay, did my arm? It's fine. All right. Um, I'll go get that pickaxe out of that tree. I'll be right back. Do so we I take hear the. the still at all out here you don't really hear the whispers when you're near this it's only in the fog that you hear the whispers it's like it's like a like a 40 foot or whatever you said field circle around then the, then you see the fog correct you know i know i said this whole thing about you know, keeping more people out of here so that they don't touch it. Standing here right now, I kind of get it. I also kind of want to touch it. Don't touch it, Frankie. I'm just saying. Do you hear it talking to you? No, I just... I understand the desire. It's intriguing. 
Ah, gotcha. Just about. Yeah, sensory three. thing though, because all of the carvings feel like they'd feel great on if you ran your hand across it. What are you guys okay. doing? I'm trying to get the pickaxe out of the tree, so I'm just going to use. Yeah, my you can. You can just do it. Okay. It it says in the rule book that if it's something a normal person can do, you can do it. You might have to like rock it a little bit. But All right. I got it. We're good. Are you trying to All right. Help? So I I ex no, I examine the where she where they hit. And then look for like any crack because that's all we need is a crack. There is already like a, a little crack. That's what I said. There's like a little, little dent in the stone. Okay. So then I take my chisel and the hammer and I start to just work that crack with like to get the wedge in there. And then if I can get it in, then I hit the wedge. Okay. So just tell me, hammer. tell me exactly what you're doing. Are you okay, talking so little idea, hammer? No, you take your sledgehammer and you work like with the hand First, on the little. Yeah, you start. You little hammer to get the chisel in. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're, like, using, you're using a little hammer well, to get I didn't the chisel know, in. I didn't know if I had a little hammer or not. I'll allow that. But that's I could fine. use. It. I feel like he would well, have gotten well, even it doesn't matter. Even if you had to use the sledgehammer, you're just holding it by close to the end, and you're just tapping little taps to get it, the wedge in the hole. In the crack, and then you hit it hard with the sledge okay. after it's lost. So, you put the uh, chisel chisel in place, or are we yeah okay chisel first. Okay, then you do the wedge. So you put the chisel in place and tap it with the hammer. Yeah, and it launches about forty feet into the air and comes back down. <laughs> that was great. Do it again. Okay, so the lighter I tap it, the higher the hammer goes. I don't get it. This is crazy. This obviously has some kind of protective shield or something on it. It's weird. How hard do you think it would be to get a crane? <laughs> Sorry. Um... Is there even any heavy stuff out here? Like, or sorry, high stuff. Like we can put it somewhere and drop it. That's fine. But where? I don't think with the three of us we could wrap anything around it and like hoist it into a tree. And well, not only that, we we drop something. Maybe this thing bounces like crazy too. Who knows? Right. <laughs> oh, come on, Victor! I want to see if it bounces. <laughs> it's like the best bouncy ball ever. We could be the first people to bounce a rock like this big of a rock into That's like space world book of world records or something it's got to be well obviously we have to do something with this because Elias found this altar no problem well, yeah, you put it in his cabin. That was like, hey, here's yeah, well, a gift. Not only that, but uh, like Jason said, he was drawn to it. Well, Elias also knew where it was, so he probably would have just gone back to where it was before he moved it. Yeah, I suppose not only that, but if you see the fog, you know you're close to it, too. So, I don't know. I think us hitting this thing is dangerous. One of us is going to get more hurt than just a dislocated shoulder. Well, it's fine. It's not like we can... It's not like I'm going to poke an eye out. I just launched a hammer 40 feet in the air. It wasn't the hammer. It was the chisel. 
the chisel. That's even worse. It's more pointy. <laughs> yeah, and I just got a pickaxe stuck in a tree. It's All right, Fine. so what are we what are we proposing here? I think we get a small localized explosion. I know it's rock, but what if we set it on fire? I mean, it makes ice creatures. No, you could try. What do we got? Do we have anything? Uh, it's in a giant pile of wood that I've kind of thrown everywhere. <laughs> Frankie has turned into, uh, tin Tinder? All I think of is the dating app when I say Tinder now. Thanks, Tinder like, Isn't Tinder, like, something that burns easy? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm, yeah. I think that's what Tinder yeah. is, but like I said, all I think yeah. of is the dating app. Do anybody even use Tinder anymore? I don't think that's a thing anymore. Uh, no, people still use it. Oh, okay. But I know everybody's on, like, um... Is OkCupid okay still a thing? I don't know. No idea. I know Farmers Only is still a thing. Oh, Farmers Only. Perfect. You don't have to be lonely. Okay. <laughs> All right. At farmersonly.com. Frankie's on farmers only. Got it. <laughs> uh, okay. So you guys are going to try and light it on fire then? Yes. Does somebody have a lighter? I feel like Frankie would. Yes. Okay. Yes, I don't have a lighter. What? The gumshoe doesn't have a lighter? No. It's, it's um, unlike of a detective not see... to be a smoker. Go ahead. Um, can I try and see if there's like an old, like a can of like gasoline or anything like in the cabin or around no, here? Nothing or anything? like that here, no. Okay. Just, just take some of your hair, pull it off, cut it up. It burns pretty easy. There's enough hair dye in it, it'll catch. There you go. Does somebody have a flask? That could be used too. Hey, that uh, I might have. <laughs> flask Next of Everclear. <laughs> What's Someone else on our team. Someone else on our team has some Doesn't experience. Know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why? How's this for Everclear? I'm only 15. 14. Four, 14. Oh, you have it. Give it. Um, okay, so you start do this. You, do you have any alcohol or any gas? Well, I guess for the for the good of the team, I'll I'll give this up. Yeah, the closest gas we got is 45 minute walk away. So I'll hand her my little flask. Or them, sorry. You carry a flask. It's Naughty. In case of emergency. Impressive. Yeah, like if I get really bored one night, you know. It's yeah. an emergency. It's an emergency. <laughs> um, okay. So you pour some of that onto the wood that has been turned into like wood chips and stuff. And then uh, Frankie takes their lighter and um, starts trying to light it. Um, is it a Zippo? Yes. What's the design? Um, ooh, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll give me, let me get back to you. I didn't think that okay. far ahead, but I okay. knew it was going to be. Knew it was a Zippo, but didn't think about the design? Come on, Frankie. Or color? Uh, anyway, so you, uh, start the wood on fire. And... Oh, yeah, it... yeah. I think it would either be the Anarchy Zippo, or they have a Cthulhu Zippo. Oh, Frankie. Oh, no, they have an occult one! They have a what one? A cult? 
occult uh, designs? Uh, uh, I mean, technically Cthulhu's a cult. <laughs> uh, well, there's one that's just, like, Cthulhu, and then there's one that has, like, the occult symbols and the ram and stuff on it. Uh, anyway, so, uh, it starts on fire, and it starts burning. Um, and as it's burning... I'll step back a little bit, because it's burning. You notice, and this should have been pretty obvious to you guys, um, the house slash cabin starts on fire as well. Okay, <laughs> um... <laughs> okay first of all, we would have pulled that stupid thing away. We wouldn't light that thing on fire, but anyway, that's fine. Oh, you're going to touch the altar and pull it away? Yeah, we have, like, ropes and bags and stuff we're carrying. You did. You didn't, like, you, you didn't anyway, bring that with you. Elias doesn't need his house anyway. It's fine. And you did not tell me that you were doing that. You told me you were starting the wood pile on fire. I wouldn't have thought about moving it. Exactly. I thought about it right away, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. So. I said something. I should have, yes. Yeah, you should have. Because now you have started a large fire and burnt down his house in the woods. He is. He doesn't need it anymore. He's clearing no record. Right. He's turning. What was that? Sorry, Frankie. It, we're clearing, right? It's fine. I yeah. didn't just start a forest fire. Not a forest fire. No, you are in a clearing. Although this is like dry brush in the area as well, so we'll see what happens. I guess. To start a forest fire. I feel like that was something. I feel like that was something that was told to us not to start a forest fire. And somebody also told you to start a forest fire, and immediately you tried shutting it down, and then suddenly it's like, let's start a fire in the forest. Wait, someone told us to start a forest fire. Yeah, Oliver. (laughs) Oh yeah, yeah. I too remember that. Uh. Anyway. So yeah, the uh, the wood pile goes up in flames pretty quickly, and it immediately latches on to the wood cabin that it's attached to, um, and yeah, that starts burning down as well, as well as all the papers and journals and stuff that he had inside. Uh, any papers, you took a lot of it, but they're like there's paper left over because he was writing stuff. Um, well, there's your tinder, and that starts going up in flames the whole house the windows start cracking everything is like burning um and it starts collapsing um more uh, importantly though how's the altar doing uh it looks like a rock it looks like we we melt the ice shield off of it it looks well i don't know go try swinging again i guess well the house is on fire i'm not swinging until it's done okay so you wait i don't know actually no you're gonna you're gonna have to wait quite a while because it's gonna be like burning hot for probably about i don't know eight hours oh no if it's wood everything it'll be gone very quickly yeah but then the embers hold the heat quite like they all fall into a pile and then that pile holds heat for quite some time yeah, but the rock's on the edge. It'll be fine. All right, whatever. You get close and try and hit it again? Yep. All right, what are you using? I use the sledgehammer because I think the pickaxe will kill somebody. All right, uh, kick some ass. There we go. Yes. That's an 11. Woo. All right, there we go. so... Um, you take plus one forward or give plus one forward to another hunter. You inflict terrible harm, plus one harm. You suffer less harm, minus one harm, or you force them where you want them. In that last one doesn't really work in this scenario. And neither does the I first like, one. You can either do plus one harm I, or minus I, one harm. I'm doing plus one harm. All right. You bring the sledgehammer down, crack it through all the ash and tinder and stuff that was on top. Um, and once again, the hammer launches right up into the air, and you know what? Just for fun, you have also dislocated your shoulder. (laughs) That did not feel good. (laughs) You guys just have one arm longer. The two of you just have one arm longer than the other. 
It's been a long time since I dislocated my shoulder. Ah. <laughs> uh. Grab my dislocated arm and go, hey, Victor, high five. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Oh, Swig, here's your flashback, Maxine. Yeah, thanks. Do you want a swig before, uh, or is it completely empty? I, I, I didn't use all of it to light it, and I took like one swig. So there's still yeah. some. I'm saying, Victor, do you want a swig of this? No. Before you put your shoulder back in. I'm good. I am good. So I'm gonna go over to the closest tree, and I'm gonna leave a weapon at. I don't I know what that means because I'm not a hundred years old. You're um, gonna slam. He's gonna slam his yeah, arm I, into the I tree. I know what he's paper. gonna do. That that's not just lethal weapon. That's a lot of things. No, just lethal, lethal weapon. weapon. Just lethal weapon. It's a lot of TV series. I'm, a bunch I'm not of movies. Years old. Oh, that's just rude, kid. Uh, sure. Anyway, so. Um, as you guys are standing, watching the fire die down, um, there's some, like, embers still burning a little bit, you hear, uh, a voice call out, and it's like, hello? Is anybody out there? Hello. Who's that? Who's there? Hello. Hi. Um I don't know where I am. Can somebody help me? Where are you? Uh you hear Is it really foot smoky? Uh it's very smoky, but you hear footsteps kind of coming from the like right of the cabin in the woods. I I need I need help. Can somebody come help? I can't see anything. I'm gonna head that direction. Follow yeah, my. We will. Have they put Have they put their arm back in? No. no. Oh. Okay. Just follow our voices. We're coming towards you. All right. Come towards my voice as well. I'm walking in your direction. Uh, and you are hearing footsteps slightly approaching. And as you're hearing the footsteps, there's something slightly off about them. Can't quite put your finger on it. Read a bad situation? You already have one left. Um... What are the questions available to them? I don't think I don't think this is the situation. I don't think this is what you want. Uh oh. Just just based on the questions you can ask, I don't think it's what you want. Oh, um, investigate a mystery. I think. Okay, I think I know which question you're going to ask if you roll the investigate a mystery. Uh, yeah. I want to know what kind of creature it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I do that one then? Yep. You need to keep talking. I, I can't hear you. We're, we're right here. Okay. I'm going like, to put a hand out to kind of like... Just like, hold on. Just just what, keep coming this way. What'd you roll for... I don't see you yet. You're sharp. Uh... Seven. Seven. That's you get one good question. Hmm. Hmm. What yeah, should the question be? <laughs> what sort of creature is it, Keeper? Um. What sort of creature are you? <laughs> <laughs> From the tempo and the way it's sounding. It sounds like its gait is very long, but it sounds human, but a tall human, maybe? Uh, 
Oh god. Can I have a really bad. We're right here. Can you hear me? I don't see you yet. Uh you see a large uh naked woman appear from out of the smoke. Uh its skin is still translucent. And its eyes are bright red. But its facial features have returned to someone that you recognize. And you recognize them from the missing posters that you have seen all over town. This is Rachel, Rachel Thornton. But we got Rachel back. Mostly. Yes. Like Jason. So Elias how, is now the conduit. How do you know who I am? Your sister What's going has on? All over town. Where's Elias? He ran off into the woods. I don't, I don't know. So standing in front of you is a seven, eight foot tall woman. Like I said, still human looking, um, elongated parts, um, translucent skin, but returned back to human shape. By that, I mean, not like Kendall, which the polar shadow stalker is. You don't remember anything, Rachel? What's the last thing you remember? I remember... Oh, no. It wasn't a dream, was it? Oh, no. And that's where we're going to call tonight's game. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Uh Ask your questions. So, uh, that's a good point. I was just going to end it. Um, one second. I got to pull that up now. Uh, First question, Matt, did you get a new mic? No, why? It just looks new. Oh, uh, it's... It's newer than the one that I was using previously. Um, okay. But it's not new, new. Where is it? Not playbooks. There's the one I want. Um, okay. So, did we conclude the current mystery? No. Uh, kind of? Yeah. A little a quarter, bit. A quarter? Um, I mean, the current mystery technically is... Whatever. Uh, did we save someone from certain death or worse? No. Uh, did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. Yes. Uh, did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? No. I'm, I think that... The fact that Maxine carries a flask was very important. Oh, yeah. Super important. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right. It's a little peek into her personality. It's a little... She's it a lets us know alcoholic. that she's an alcoholic. Yeah, perfect. Um, a high-functioning... A high-functioning alcoholic. I grew up in Thompson. Come on. Give me a break. Fair enough. All right. So, that is all for tonight. Um... And we hope everybody has a great night. And uh, we hope to see you all next week. And maybe we'll have more players next week. Um, Good night, guys. See you, everyone. Bye for now. Stay.